Will you? That was an amazing All video. Right. Man. That, <laughs> was, that was an amazing video, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, good, good evening, everyone, yeah, good evening. and uh, thank you all for taking the time out to be here today. Uh, so, you know, uh, you all, all know that we've been doing these sessions uh, every weekend on various topics, from art to gardening and hiking and photography and self care and so forth. And um, all of these sessions have been held by experts, right? And all of these sessions uh, have been so that you know you can find something that makes you happy. And you can further this this thing that makes you happy, right? And that's what we are all about. Uh, we are a community that encourages you to grow and learn with the things that you love, so that when you're ready, you can give back with this knowledge, making it easier for someone else to do the same. That'd be a beautiful world, wouldn't it? And today we have Webber Shah, who wishes to give back with his knowledge on art. Hey, Webber. All right. So I'm I'm going to quickly introduce Webber. Uh, so Webber uh, is is uh, a visual artist and the founder of Art History Plus uh, and Endocrine Films, which is a video production house dedicated to the Indian artist. Uh, he's uh, been part of uh, as a director, producer, um, you know, uh, interviewer of multiple art films, and was even uh, the official artist for the Commonwealth Games in India. So he's got a lot of knowledge on art, and that's what he's going to do today. He's going to simplify art for us, and and get us uh, acquainted, get us started with understanding art, right? And yeah. you know, I, I I know for sure, you know, when I've I've gone to these museums and or you know, in general, what the difference between a Mona Lisa, a Starry Night, uh, I've gone to these museums. I've seen a white, just a white canvas with just a dot, and I, I wonder why why is that there? But there's always a deep meaning. Uh, there's depth. There's depth to that, and um, there is, there's a reason why that, that is hung up over there, right? There's the time, the space, and the barrier that that art broke. And Weber is going to do just that. He's we're going to take an example of three um, three paintings, uh, which he, we're going to see uh, a video uh, of, and then he's going to quickly explain that to you and get you started with deciphering that artwork, what the artist meant, as well as. To any other any other artwork that you have, so yeah, yeah. if you have questions, use the chat box. Like you all know, uh, yeah. all our sessions are interactive, and or use the raise hand button. And uh, yeah, let's let's begin, man. Can I can yeah. I also see the uh, can I also go, see go. the chats? I can see the chats, right? Of course. Go ahead, Webber. Yeah. When someone, hello world. So nice. I got one chance to wear a jacket, so I wore a jacket because you know otherwise this would be in an auditorium, as usual. we kind of like it's very rare firstly to do art it's very rare to for people to discuss art because you know people rather talk about what happened to arnab goswami what happened to what's about the presidential thing but this this subject on art and uh you know what other what other human beings think and it's a very personal it's a very silent it's a very it's a very beautiful subject in a way and uh, to some degree it should be shared it should be it should be explained the more you explain it the more uh, you know the more uh, sorry i think somebody is uh, the more uh, uh, people kind of like uh, it art is like a software okay i'd like to say that at the beginning it's like you need to think of it like something that's going to enhance your life whether it's a painting whether it's food whether it's a piece of music uh, there's a song for you there's a work of art for you there's a certain meal that uh, you know and you should know how to make it whether it's a sambar whether it is a, a piece of song you know you how much you know or you like uh, you know how to make a certain kind of a recipe similarly uh, visual arts is not explained uh, i wouldn't say a very few people who can have access to it. and uh, so basically what we started doing is art history plus uh, obviously it's a pandemic thing uh, i'm sitting alone and i have tried to explain to my wife and to my family and i have some very close friends who keep asking me hey what's the meaning of this what's that what's the sort of about so art art history plus in a way came out from this very organic space and i'm very happy to share so we've decided three films i think this was a decision we made because we have uh, 
can you hear me hello yeah so uh we basically have uh, only three films uh only three videos that we are going to speak to you about and three artworks that's the most important thing is that let's not do one with karan we were discussing this let's not do one let's not do two let's do three we were thinking of doing four but let's say i think three is a perfect number because for the amount of information locked inside that painting the amount of ideas that's going to come up and you guys are all free to uh, you know uh, you guys are free to you know we ask questions on this i can see all this everybody's like hi 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 can everybody see this or can only i see this everyone can see that web everyone can see okay okay so okay here the beautiful people okay so okay hello hello okay from ludhiana some this is hi so let's do this let's in a way i'm going to basically firstly start off by before you know we start the films i'm going to basically say some ways no you're sharing the screen okay i'd like to say that firstly remember one thing uh that you should start uh trusting yourself when it comes to seeing an artwork you should you should know that there is no right and wrong this is not uh, a black and white uh idea that I, did you understand it or did you not understand it did you fully understand it did you partially understand it? these are ideas uh that belong in a very capitalistic techno capitalistic world where it's like tell me i want results this is a very personal thing this is like having a conversation with your best friend and kind of like trying to understand whether yeah did you feel it too yeah even i felt it too there's not much to say but still you need to you know way understand and hopefully at the end of this hour everybody in a way uh, you know uh, draws a little uh, me and karan were discussing this idea in the past where like you know true the full idea of education should be can read can write and can draw because you could be in any country and if i can just draw a cup of tea uh, a saucer and a cup you know if i draw a chicken or if i draw a leaf or if i draw a meal people know that i'm communicating so i feel drawing needs to be stressed upon uh, in our curriculum more and it's not just a halka fulka subject i've given my whole life to it a lot has happened and uh, you guys are going to go in to seeing three artworks and we are basically straight very very uh, peacefully decided which three artworks to choose to you so if you i'd like to make a request at the outset because i'm a youtuber uh, please like comment and subscribe art history plus is a channel on youtube uh, maybe now maybe later if you can open a tab i would say later art history plus please there's a juicy big red button that says subscribe it's free of course all you have to do is click on that and for the next year because we've made enough content for the coming year you're going to get some of every week friday 7 pm we release a film uh, we have some fantastic artworks that are in line so you should understand this why why current chose me and why let in sapiens why me no way i'm an insider in the art world in the indian art i like to say that and india i mean in the global art scene and the thing is i'm a happy guy and i'm uh, i've been making films on artists and i have been interviewing artists now they're all close friends when i asked them to do this art history plus project they were all like sure we'll give you an artwork uh, because to some degree they trust me that i don't have an idea i don't i'm not going to take their ideas and kind of like put my own ideas behind that you know okay? uh, or like give it a critique somebody also sent a question about uh, being a critic i'll take that question at the end of this session uh, that's a good question though but i'd like you to know that i have access to the artist phone numbers and they're all friends and so when they speak to me okay first the artist can't talk okay they can paint damn well or they can do the art damn well but they can't talk they're really bad and they should and it's not like everybody can talk and everybody should not talk about their work the reason is because they might spoil it for you uh quite often or not so often you'll find somebody who's sociable i consider myself a pretty outgoing guy has no uh, I have no qualms about discussing art with anybody, whether it's uh, my own family or my friends. And I just feel that everybody should. I love it so much that I always crave. Like, Did you get it? Did you get it? Do you see? Do you see how amazing this is? And uh, people are like, 
I don't get it. Can you explain it to me? And I was like, sure, I'll explain it to you. So I tried my level best to try to do that. This is the same thing we're going to do. Uh, Karan, heads up in about a minute. I think we should play the first film for these guys. And, sure. Uh, this sure, work, sure. Let me just 30 seconds introduce it. The This is uh, actually a genius artist. Lives in uh, half in Korea, South Korea, South, South Korea, and half in uh, Karnataka. He's a good guy. He's he's an amazing friend now. Uh, Lakshmi Narayan Tandur, Alan Tandur. He's actually big. Okay, he's big. He's like the next big Indian sculptor. That I mean, he's already big uh, in the in the in the professional space. But uh, you know, I mean, it's not like M F Hussain kind of space because there's no controversy around him or anything. But in terms of talent, in terms of what he's trying to say, in terms of the ideas that he comes up with and the ideas, uh, you know, this is an artist. This is not a craftsman or this is, you know, this is someone who's thinking on behalf of all of us. This is somebody who, and all the artworks that we're discussing, three artworks, all three artists, these guys are thinkers. So when you're asking me questions, I'm going to answer them, not just from the perspective of technique, craft and style and this, and these, these ideas are important. I'm not saying they're not important. They are important. But over and above that, each artwork is a very, very personal poem. And it is a very honest piece of art. And the reason it becomes art somewhere is because it is so personal. It is so personal that it's kind of a part of me, a part of you. And you'll see that now. So Karan, can you please? Uh, of course, of course. I have. Uh, we have a small poll uh, at the start of yeah. each, each artwork. I'd like you all to uh, click on whatever your answer is. Uh, quickly respond. We don't. We will not waste much time. We've got over 300 people here, so let's see if we can get all of you all to to uh, you know respond, so that you know we wow. can share it with with everyone. And uh, then, of course, we'll see the artwork wherever. This is amazing. Yeah, this poll. Everybody, 97 percent. Wow. Can everybody see this? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, wow, this is beautiful. I mean, I, I was not expecting this kind of <laughs> uh, response. Yeah, we, we've got a nice engaged audience. We've been doing this for a while. And uh, I think up. they all, yeah. 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 So so we've got about 250 people. Let's let's share the results since it's a very one-sided. So now everyone can see. Uh, the question was, do you think you can use art to help yourself or a loved one heal uh, from a tra traumatic or heartbreaking situation? And everyone, I mean, 98% have answered yes. So let's see the video. And, six people, uh, I'd like to speak to the six people after the video. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's let's uh, quickly have a look at uh, the video and then we can sort of uh, have fun guys. Hi, this is Talur Ellen. Please subscribe to Art History Plus. This video will take just a few minutes, but this artwork took two years to make. Yeah by hand, a mother's hand. It took time, you know, like making home food. I'll explain. X is a symbol widely used in different forms. It is a kiss in the XOXO. It is a variable in mathematics. You know, find X. It even marks a simple visual spot, a location, and it's one part of the chromosome combination. Imagine X amount of X chromosomes passed through generations. X can be anything. Welcome to this tutorial episode on how to make an iconic philosophical artwork, a simple cross stitch by Ellen Talur and his mother, the artists of this work. Let's do this step by step. Firstly, make a cross stitch. Get your microscopic camera which amplifies everything and click a picture Next, print that super detailed image, color separated, dissect each hue to every possible shade. It gets pixelated. Now let's calculate each and every color possible. There are a total of 280. Yeah, believe me. Now comes the best part. Let's go shopping. Buy each and every thread in that shade and construct that cross stitch with a cotton thread which has been minutely color coordinated on a white cotton grid by hand. Yes, a plethora, crowd, cluster of cross stitches making a large cross stitch. Now, now you know what you're in for. 
have you made anything by hand <laughs> i mean this intense everything takes time to make do you get it time is used here as a tool like an ingredient by talur purposefully as an act of healing that's life in its philosophy brought to reality by elen talur with his mother this delicate 76 square centimeter work is a testament of a lot of things it's an exercise between a mother and son a medium to heal to come out of trauma a space of distraction and dedication too why did talur collaborate with his mother to make her lose herself in the act but then to regain herself too to forget something or someone it was someone a loved one think of any repetitive act a chant done to an extent where you are so immersed that the meaning is dissolved and all that remains is a sound a world where the cross stitch is in a world of its own but as you zoom out you see the bigger picture and as you zoom out even further you see the infinite picture the never ending reality contained within smaller realities the idea behind this work lies in the indian philosophy of anu and paramanu atoms are eternal and the combination constitute the empirical material world the whole world everything so ask yourself then is man made in the image of god or is god then made in the image of man simply put in a fun way it's like plastic surgery you take skin to construct skin so when you're looking at a face that has work done you're actually looking at a butt the material talks about material and the idea talks about its own idea cotton used here on cotton for cotton and to represent cotton itself but why would somebody do this meticulous act by hand would you the artist does he focuses on the act of doing something laboriously by hand with his mother it makes it human abstract each stroke is abstract that's why this isn't embroidered on a machine it wouldn't mean the same thing it wouldn't have the same value and more importantly it wouldn't have healed either talur's mother or himself so you get it now talur actually used time itself as a tool two whole years were needed so this macro micro conversation is at the core of this work your great grandparents might not be alive you exist right now though but they still exist within you and this goes on and on look at your nose it belongs to your grandparents it's the same thing a small element of yourself is molding the concept of time itself would you have guessed and that's why this isn't just a cross stitch this is art all right can, can you hear me yes of course go ahead hello yeah my brother can yeah. hear you yeah so this is thank you uh, everybody is like this is i got some good comments here okay so basically uh the six people who uh, who did not who, who said no on the poll uh i I'd, i'd like to explain is it's nice that six people thought that you cannot be healed let me let me say something and i i don't mean to get personal in, behind the personal story of what uh you know the loop told me but just generally and an embroidery like so i I, I thought I'll take notes. So this is these are these are the long interviews I did. Okay, like I do like I did with Talur. Basically, I spoke for like for three and a half four hours about this one work to present it and to basically then we have a team of writers and to break it down and to get the you know to basically get the idea a very simple idea at the core of it is that time you know Talur an artist has used embroidery. and use time as a tool it is very important to understand these ideas that when you guys are sitting at home and if you are painting and if you are writing a novel or whether you're painting a book or whether you're doing pottery or for whatever reason you are uh 
somebody has two people have collaborated a mother and a son now just think about that for some time just think about the fact that a very a very famous artist who has the capability of very well doing his own stuff you know making artworks for himself uh, chooses to collaborate with a loved one his own mother here this is something again how many of you how many of us even think of you know uh, collaborative efforts when it comes to doing art when it comes to saying you know best friend ask your partner ask your husband or your wife ask your partner about hey do you want to make an artwork together do you want to invest in a hobby? it might be at the hobby level but would you want to do this together would you want to uh, you know we'll stop at some things like okay let's get curtain, curtain stitched or let's get uh, let's make food together or you know let's let's do something uh, let's plant a tree or let's go for a walk together that's fine it's perfectly fine but now just go a little deeper and ask the person sitting around you if they would be interested if in making an artwork together because what 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 that will do is you start asking each other questions the first question will be what do you want to do right now over here the artist i mean it's it's in the film so i don't mind saying that much only about it so the, they they had a loss in the family and uh, uh, somebody has passed away and uh, the mother is very sensitive about this subject and so i won't go into detail but basically she needed some time to get out of that and tallu sees that as a very sensitive man as a very sensitive artist he sees what's happening to his loved one his mother and he says okay i'm going to i need to use time and i need to use and give her something to do and it cannot be something small or something achievable it has to be something exponentially hard and so he gave her this cross stitch to do now she does do cross stitch mind you but i don't know if you noticed in the sentence that you know to do the cross stitch i don't know if you, if karat could share the page again but it might just look like white and red uh you know it might just look like a cross like 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 that's what on yeah yeah thank you karat so if you zoomed into this right you remember you used to get vardhaman wool the the brand so he's shown me photographs of him going to the shop so if you see all the gray tones all the reds all the blacks all the maroons they're not these are not just five or six shades of red and a few shades of gray these are 208 yeah, 280 shades of color which basically means that you know you these are not dyed later with a paint brush these are like there were 280 shades of wool prepared and then for each pixel one cross stitch has been made and in the, eventually the the larger image of all these cross stitches is a massive cross stitch the idea of you know of like something like a father and son i keep i uh, i've ended this half an hour conversation with uh, uh, with talur is that you know it's like when a child is born you are born in the image of your greatest grandfather your father and there's a there's a lineage so if you zoomed into this image you would see one minute microscopic cross stitch but when you zoom out you see that you know even the concept of god we are made in the image of god in the same way this one image this one real cross stitch grows itself so many times and eventually becomes its parent becomes the cross stitch and whether you're looking at this image or you are looking at uh, you know the little kept saying you know skin is talking about skin your cotton is talking about cotton here the stitch is talking about a stitch and it's very important to understand uh, okay one hour is less i could talk about this subject as from a philosophical point of view i mean for a long time uh, but um, you have to um, you know when we say that oh india is like this or india is like that i am india you are india so your microscopic on the organismic level yeah i said that right <laughs> on the on that level you basically are the bigger picture yes you you are india so you in a way this this is a uh, a beautiful way of giving out such a complex philosophical idea out uh by an artwork and he used he used his mother to do it you see that i don't think i don't think the lord can uh, 
do cross stitch but to collaborate with your own lover is something that i want to stress upon it's absolutely is i want to uh, stress upon is because and i also urge you guys all you 200 and 300 people uh who saw this video uh up if you could i mean this video is available on the youtube channel of art history plus and if you go there please subscribe again uh but you can watch the video again and you'll get you know listen to the lyrics listen to the script because it's written you know we always we almost jam with the artist we always collaborate with the artist so this ideas are not coming from thin air these ideas have come from the creator itself so it helps in having and over and above that if you have your own ideas I'd, i mean watch the video i'd love to hear your comments in the comment section on youtube but uh it'll be nice if you you know we are all afraid of passing our opinions seeing that nahi nahi dus wo kya sochega you know i'm sorry i'm speaking in hindi only but i i know hindi uh, but you you essentially want to give your opinion full heartedly you do not never ever ever doubt yourself that my reading of this artwork is incorrect or that my reading of this artwork whatever your reading is is your truth and your uh, from your perspective from your life from your uh pov and it's not wrong the only thing is yes if you go like if you go like way off charts but if you looked at an image the image will never lie to you all the information that an artwork has to come from will come from the image so next time you go to a gallery or you go to a museum some people like it but there is no need to read a wall text and then come to the image and then to make sense of based on what the world text says similarly you see the videos you know you see uh, what what artistry plus offers is basically at the point of origin of the idea the ideas that came from that point from the moment they came from the horses mouth from the arts from the creators mouth so there is no my our job at artistry plus is to be transparent as transparent as possible to make sure that the idea is percolate we have the tech we have the production it's like eight people on this project who work to make this happen so a lot of hard work a lot of energy that goes into making a video so you know all these three all this all these interviews these long four 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 five hours complex interviews need to be uh, you know made into a drop it's like a it's like making ghee i guess but it's for you so it'll be nice if anybody has any questions we'll take yeah. them uh, either now or maybe let's let's take one quick question because uh, on the topic that you were discussing i think it's very relevant uh, about how you know you're you're relaying what the artist had in mind victor bal had a very interesting question uh, in the chat box as well as he wanted to speak so victor if you'd like to unmute yourself you can ask uh, web of yourself or i can ask uh, him for you so if you'd like to uh, speak you can just press the unmute button and um, uh, ask or i can take your question for you okay so victor victor bal's question was uh, very relevant uh, is it not uh, it is not always possible to know an artist's background or his or her emotional condition during creating an artwork how to appreciate that art fully then is 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 the question so the be- the best this is a nice question so just never forget that there are two human beings one has said something and the other person has li- understood something now you might okay now i don't speak tamil for example but just because somebody said something in tamil does not mean that and i don't understand it does not mean that the person did not say anything right it's just that i don't understand it so sometimes you know there are, i that's your default setting as a human being to express yourself how well you express yourself needs a little bit of training needs a little bit of uh, uh, you know you need to you need to kind of that's what i you, you need to culture yourself to become a good craftsman to explain yourself you need to invest time in it now talking about the stop talking about the emotional point from where an artist comes in i would have to say that you know artists are not investing like 6 6 months and 2 2 2 years to do artworks to try to complicate it for you in fact they are trying to do the opposite they're trying to simplify it not just for themselves you see anything a, a very complex idea in your mind uh by the time it comes out to your mouth and it becomes speech that is the simplest way it could have come out some people dance about it some people sing about it some people uh can talk about it these guys can paint about it they can they do art now 
I do agree that you might not, you might find it tough to uh, get the exact ideas. That's where, and by the way, this is exactly where we at Artistry Plus, we, this is like a great problem, right? For a product, like we see a problem, we see a solution. So from a, from a perspective of like, uh, uh, you know, uh, finding a huge uh, problem in society. Yes, we are trying to give you uh, the most unfiltered idea that came from the artist to the largest public. But I'm, I will admit that it happens with conversation. Now, either you have the conversation with yourself while looking at the artwork and keep asking yourself, see an artwork is, an artwork is somewhere also challenging you, right? When you see an artwork and you don't understand it, it does not say anything about the artwork. It says mostly about, about you, the, your, your ability to read, how sensitive you are, various things. But there is no need to be demoralized about it because, and neither, it, most, most, I would say this most, okay, most artworks are open-ended. They're open-ended and like, for example, if you listen to a Kishore Kumar song or a Mohammed Rafi song, or if you listen to a song by Yar Rahman, you don't need to appreciate the song exactly how the producer of the film wanted you to experience it. You can, you don't have to visualize the entire sequence or if, if you're listening to a rock song, if you're listening to a Beethoven, now Beethoven's dead, you're never going to understand what Beethoven went through uh, uh, and you're, you're not going to live it. You're just, you're a wannabe. You're just going to assume that uh, what he is, uh, what he or she, the artist, uh, you know, intended via their work. Now, how good you're, you're in tune with yourself and with the, with, with the artistic landscape in your country, in, in society, and how often do you go to artworks and how often you uh, associate yourself with art, now, will will kind of in a way, uh, you know, define how much you understood. I mean, if like the very simple ideas of, uh, you know, uh, if you think like there's a conversation happening in graffiti right now where everybody is doing some really good graffiti art in India, uh, but the mass is just used to you know ABVP protest posters, uh, you know, Chalo Dilli and uh, these huge underwear ads on the on the road somewhere, or you know, they'll watch some stupid ad of you know some pipes and so on. now. They are seeing two contrary things. They are seeing a very uh, mundane uh, advertisement on the road and they are seeing graffiti. Now, people start equating both of the... Sometimes you might not find the ability to even appreciate something which is so good because somewhere you, uh, you know, did not grow up with art and but you can always start. It's my, my, my the, you know, you, you could start on Super. any given day. And just keep doing it. It's similar. Like today, you'll understand. You know, if you watch a film now, the way the masses are consuming films today, everybody understands editing. It's become so smooth that any era, era person, anybody with no skill can tell what is good acting and what is bad acting. That was something a casting director was needed to have. You know, so till 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 we don't make art accessible to all with the right intent. And we all have to work on it together. Uh, the conversations for our, see Europe has done a great thing for themselves. You know, Europe, I keep saying this, like they've documented themselves. It's very important. If you did, if your child did a drawing, don't tear it in front of them or even for another 10 years, hold on to it. Or if, you know, everything, whether you're making a meal, whether you're making a song, whether you're humming a tune, you know, after you come back from office, the only thing you can do with your money is buy artistic products, whether it's a shirt, whether it's a piece of furniture, whether it's a house, everything is drawn by an artist. He could be an architect. He could be a fashion designer. You can only invest your money in today's time in artistic products, whether you go to eat, whether you go to eat food. So this, what we're discussing currently, currently uh, what we're discussing is fine art is these guys are sitting where they have 24 seven. These guys are just creating poetry back to back. This is like Picasso space. Picasso did not also buy vegetables. He only did his art and he only basically. So, but there's lots to take from that because they're so invested in their own practice. What happens is that there are multiple ideas that who you tell me one thing, who's going to think of these philosophical ideas if everybody goes to office. You need artists. You need artists to give you software updates. You need artists to give you direction. An entire country can shift its location 
it's psychological ideas based on the artists of their times you know imagine like if you did not have you know my my uncles kept telling me you know if puppy larry did not enter the landscape we would still have tabla dholak and you would have a tanpura in indian music there was somebody needed to bring a synthesizer and change the landscape and then you know so i mean these examples are very important if if contemporary artists don't work towards pushing the boundaries then you know artists are very important you don't understand this this is like once an engineer is done making their piece of technology they have to give it to an artist to play with it to create beautiful stuff so you can create all the technological tools in the world but eventually you know you make the best whether it's a frying pan or whether it's a computer you're going to have to give it to an artist to bring out the juice out of it whether you know and this is a, it's a the more the earlier the faster you come inside the space inside the 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 faculty of fine arts uh, you're going to have a fantastic experience it's a great trip uh, you know people have different ideas and interests in life uh, and i think that you should speak to your loved ones about speaking of loved ones the next film is uh, dining with ego by anupam sood uh, this is a fantastic it's by the way it's an etching you should know this okay you started the poll yes <laughs> then i won't tell anybody oh 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 not bad people no 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 people are getting the oh people got it people got it the right answer is winning people can't see this right what i'm seeing no 50 50 okay guess the medium of this artwork this by the way is very tough to do okay this artwork is is not i'll tell you eventually the poll get over Let the pole get over. Doing this drawing on this scale and to do just to execute to sit for a human being to sit down and to draw something like this can suck you dry. This is I would say one of where you need to be so gutsy to have a personal problem in your life and be honest about it. And I really respect people who have you know everybody they don't want to put the the happy image in front of everybody. There are people who are very sensitive about even their sadnesses it's a very mature work okay we shared the results now weber yeah uh, i think you gave a slight hint, hint. <laughs> i wouldn't have guessed <laughs> uh, but you can tell them the answer yes. and the first it's an etching this is an etching plate this basically this is carved it's dipped in it's drawn on an acid on a zinc plate it's basically a plate as a metal plate uh then you draw on it you dip it in etch you dip it in uh, acid it eats away the you wherever you've drawn and uh, you essentially then apply ink and this is like newspaper prints then you just keep making prints it's very very tough to do this is not drawn on paper again the process of doing this is hardcore okay you like to see the video yes let's do the video okay super I'm sure you've seen couples like this in restaurants the kind that sit together but they just don't talk It's super awkward poor girl anyways he looks as though he's lost in his meal and she looks as though she's lost interest in him this is dining with ego a 1999 zinc etching done by Anupam Sood okay i have questions who are is that much food just for two people okay something's not right for sure and to be fair we don't know whose ego we are discussing here okay so she is not eating her body language says she is absolutely bored and she is looking straight at you but not for sympathy she is made up her mind but nobody orders that much food right that's a lot of food on the table a lot and that's why i don't think that food represents food itself maybe that's why this work is titled dining with ego this is a zinc etching on paper i'll explain this is a drawing engraved on a zinc plate dipped in nitric acid filled with ink and then taken out of a press 
the way your newspapers come out. It's a printmaking technique. And the artist Anupam Sood is a master in this field. This work was done in 1999. Do you see this transparent plastic water bottle? Try drawing one yourself, at least on paper. And please remember that this is drawn on a zinc etching plate. Yeah, she really is that good. Most of Anupam Sood's work have two or more people and there's something happening between them something very human there's this kind of silence between them this tension it feels like this form of communication has become routine in her life did you notice this rose it's placed absolutely in the center of the drawing and it's saying something what do you think is this the artist's observation of another girl or is this girl the artist herself? So in the late 1970s, Anupam Sood largely used feminist subjects. Dining with Ego is one of my favorite Anupam Sood artworks. One needs to be really sensitive to talk about a subject so personal. You need to be honest with yourself to draw inspiration from your own life even though it might be a negative moment. The artist has used a very simple technique to keep your eyes focused on the table, to see the details on the table and see the lack of details in the background. It'll all make sense to you. I just noticed something. There's egg, there's fish, there's all kinds of meat. And just maybe she's vegan. Just saying. I mean, could be. <laughs> right? Just, just joking. I'd really like to know what you think about this artwork. Oh, the egg curry looks good. Alright. The egg curry looks good. So... There was a need to kind of uh, lighten the mood while talking about this artwork. Yeah. <clears throat> can you can you hear me? Yes. Yes. There, there was a need. I'll just like to tell everybody. There was a need to lighten the mood uh, about this artwork, about it being a you know a sad painting or that. Uh, also, a very fundamental question is whose ego are we discussing? Because I didn't take sides in this. It's very clear. But still, uh, the comments, some very interesting comments have came up while I was watching the video. Where people, you, you see, uh, people keep talking about modern, this modernism in painting or something. This is a work. She's evidently, uh, she's evidently like, she's, She's not interested in the guy anymore. And the guy, to some degree, is... Uh, it's unfortunate that, you know, sometimes relationships go down. You know, also, this is not an illustration. I should also say that. This is not an illustration. And also, another fact is that this artwork was not made uh, after having a chat with Anupam Su. I sent it to her later. And... Uh, she was really happy that this uh, turned out this way. And she was like, she was really fascinated. And she was like, this is amazing. And then uh, I released it. I, I waited till I got approval from, from the artist. The thing is, what I, this, this video is kind of like gives you proof that if tomorrow you guys come up, whoever's listening, someone said he's lost in the food. So basically... <laughs> You know, you don't. You can approach the artwork from 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 multiple points. You want to experience. You want to. You want to experience the work, uh, for two seconds. Look at it. Get the point. Walk away. That's it. I understand. We live at a time when everybody's on Instagram and Tinder. Relationships, are relationships today, and you have. Uh, you know, on Instagram, you'll swipe something for like three seconds. You'll be like, okay, I got it. But you should know that to make a zinc plate etching 
she could have it, it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of you know to plan all the tones correctly the tones are right this is not something um, uh, you know easy i would suggest if anybody is from baroda if anybody is interested in doing zinc etchings uh, you know in pune there's a very famous uh, uh, my friend snehal uh, snehal goel who basically runs uh, uh, a print studio or if you go to baroda there's a chap studio there are many in baroda so and you can go and learn print making you'll actually understand how amazing this technique is and you know the act of doing can you can you imagine something is happening has happened negative in your life and uh, you decide to draw and you decide to express it i i i challenge you guys if you were sitting if you were sitting at home and you went through a, a you know some sort of depression some sort of sadness some kind of worry the last thing you will think of <laughs> is to take a pen and paper and draw it and the the act of drawing it and the act of sitting and actually executing a drawing for uh you know this would take approximately for her i'm guessing it would take about at least a week to get the tones right to get all the references and perspective and everything right even for someone as amazing as anupam so it uh, would have taken time plus the whole process of etching you know you're living with the entire process of maybe from getting the plate printing it doing everything maybe a week or 10 days you're living with that and you're bring basically bringing your idea into reality it till now these ideas were just ideas in your mind and uh, it takes uh, you know which is why i again i urge you to all pick up uh, some kind of art form the act of expression to your default setting and you should know how uh, you should know how to execute your own thoughts whether it is to speak whether it is you want to make a song about it or you want to paint about it but i feel the fact that you all come here see this is a conversation about about art in general but spe because specifically i am an artist and because uh, we are in the visual art space i can speak of visual arts really well it's it's a subject that everybody understands it's i there's no doubt in my mind that from you know everybody understands uh, a visual it's the reason why instagram is doing well and there is a reason why everything in the world is moving away from text and sometimes you know sometimes an image really does is worth a thousand words and if if done correctly if 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 done correctly you can literally make it more than a thousand words it, it can say a lot of things and the idea for you also should be to kind of uh, uh, you know put your ideas out there for everybody to see you should not be ashamed of your idea if you have if you have whatever you're going through in life uh you know it needs to come out and the reason you do that on instagram any which is right but on instagram you're faking it people research says science says that everybody's faking their lives on facebook and on instagram uh then why is it that artists are bloody saying the truth man like there must be something going on in the mind that you know artists are not just representatives of like the the entertainment and arts and industry category these guys are like भाई मेरे को करने का है दुनिया गई भाड़ में इट्स लाइक आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक द ट्रूथ एंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक माय ट्रूथ एंड वेदर समवन गेट्स इट समवन बाइज इट समवन डज इट बाय यू नो यू कांट फंक्शन एज एन आर्ट्स प्रैक्टिशनर थिंकिंग अबाउट यू नो इज इट अ गुड इन्वेस्टमेंट बैड इन्वेस्टमेंट दीज आर एक्सप्रेशंस इट्स लाइक इफ सम शुड आई से इट शुड आई से इट ऑफ कोर्स से वेदर या समबडी सेड या अस्मिता कथर्ट सेज शी इज अ ब्लॉगर Um, do you get paid for blogging no but people are blogging left right center everybody is on instagram are you getting paid for writing all this nonsense on facebook and twitter no but you are expressing yourself in the same way but see you see twitter 140 characters i think the limit is gone up but you have that much space people are dying to say something <laughs> if you give someone a 7 foot canvas imagine what all you can do so the idea is to be uh, you know and people have these misconceptions which i'm going to take in a question because somebody sent a damn good question about abstract art i'll get back to you people think are ek stroke mar diya painting pe and you know my emotions are out it depends i'll come to that point 
but if you saw this video again if you want to refer back to this video i'd suggest you go back to art history plus's youtube page and again please like comment and subscribe it's very important that you subscribe i make no money currently so if you subscribe then eventually later we have it, it takes a lot of energy to make these videos and subscription and views really help us okay you ask any youtuber all right so karan we can we do this is the toughest one but it's the most fun one i promise you and this is an internationally famous work by jackson pollock i know what all of you are thinking uh, you seen saif ali khan do this in one stupid asian paints ad but trust me i'm going to explain this this i'm going to i'm going to attempt in the video to explain abstraction to you and then after that it's like no holds bar fight let's have a conversation about art you want to ask me anything about art this is the tough this is a tough one even for me to answer by the way so just make sure your questions are like correct they are rich don't don't keep a question which is like aisa kyu hai life mein don't ask me like a tight question please because then it's easier to uh it's easier to uh answer it to in the safest way okay yeah so karan pose no one emotion no emotion just the spending ego can you All right, we've got the results. Never. All right, fifty percent say confusion. Very good. There is no right <laughs> or wrong answer in this. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer in this. Uh, if you know, if you know the uh, if you know the backstory of this artist, then uh, your confusion was the absolute right answer. If he was, if Jackson Pollock was your friend, uh, was there a peer karta? He was. He was an alcoholic. He passed away. So. Please watch this video, and then we'll come back on the other side. Why is this art? You want everything to always make sense, and if you saw something that does not make sense to you, you'd consider it unintelligent, wouldn't you? Historically the line had purpose even now you need the line to mean something you want a drawing to always say something and you want a painting to represent something but fortunately everyone does not speak the same language so just because you did not understand something does not mean someone is in saying something appreciating this work by jackson pollock is like having an aesthetic software update i'll try explaining abstract accident expressionist spontaneous angry improvised entropy performative uncultured subconscious radical and meaningless are some of the few words that are attributed to Jackson Pollock's artworks this is a document of a performance and i'm really sorry but just maybe that's all this is trying to find meaning in this work says more about you than the painting itself your human brain is literally being challenged it refuses to accept that an artwork can also be a question or even just a feeling maybe you were so used to being shown images that mean something that when you were confronted by something that has no meaning it just did not make sense and that is why this work challenges so many people on so many levels this painting is a gesture it is again a document of a consciously produced human performance and to be human is to be abstract accidental expressionistic spontaneous free angry improvised performative uncultured subconscious radical entropic and sometimes admittedly even meaningless Can you think of any other artwork that so beautifully represents us? 
whose mere existence challenges your current concepts of art. I think that this work is poetry written in a language that you don't understand yet. Jackson Pollock died at the age of 44 in a car accident. He was drunk. Just saying. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a really <coughs> raised hand. Somebody raised a hand. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. We'll, we'll yeah. take questions. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying this, this, this work is one of, it's, it's an iconic work in the world for a reason. Firstly, the whole history of art has been documented in terms of realism. You have to understand one very important idea of realism in the West because the Christian faith stresses on a real God who walked the earth. The ideas of realism are really strong in their mind. In India, we have a mythological concept of God. So the arts from India did not have the same density to realism. Realism came to India very late via Raja Ravi Varma and it was a control C, control V, copy paste. It was not an organic movement that we all experienced. Like if you ask my grandmother, she will still look at the Raja Ravi Varma painting and say, Wo Bhagwan ka photo hai. Now, if you break down that sentence, you will understand that realism, painting realism in India is perceived as a photographic realism. Jackson Pollock's work, and if you're caught, and you have to understand that the human brain has always, it craves for pattern making. It craves to make sense of everything. This painting is iconic on so many levels. After all of this, the psychology of how to look at an artwork, how to understand art. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this, this painting firstly could have only been done by a human being or an elephant, but you needed to have, you know, somewhere, uh, this again, it, it's very important. If you, if you go to the, uh, you know, the MoMA, I've seen this in person. It, it is not intended. It was not firstly, remember, it was not made on by keeping it on a wall and then painted that way. It was kept on the flow and it was produced from top paint was spilled on it like a flow in a frenzy. I challenge you, even today, 50 years after this painting is done, if I give you buckets of paint and I tell you, go crazy on canvas, you will come up with the Jackson Pollock. Even today, before Jackson Pollock, before Jackson Pollock, if you told any child, you take so much paint, go crazy. You know what they'll do? They would have done a Picasso. And before Picasso, if you tell some, if you give them paint and you say, you know what, go. So people up, up, are journey began from realism i mean impressionism it's come all the way to abstractionism and the reason for that is we we have updated and i'm saying the word updated very properly i'm not saying that we have our culture has stooped down i'm saying we have updated but it is only updated if you consciously understand what is happening is that collectively as a species we are all this is the emotion that we relate to the most, not just in America, by the way, in the whole world. Now, if this was in red color, then this would have been, uh, you know, blood splatter. If this was, you know, it's like, this is a painting that represents pretty much so many concepts, whether you wanted to intergalactic, understand, you know, a painting of space, a painting of violence, a painting of anger, a, even happiness. I see fantastic happiness in this painting because I paint and I'm a painter and I know how much pleasure this doing, producing this painting would have. Okay, I don't drink, but like I, I would have never come up, I would have never been able to do this painting. And also remember one very important thing. First person who does it, artist. Second person who does it, craftsperson. So the first person who must have done a barley, genius. Second person, copycat. So if you think that you can do this painting, I have no doubt. I have no doubt in my mind that you can paint this painting, but you will be copying a 50 year old Jackson Pollock painting. And that's a shame. 
So the reason you need to look inwards and find your own language, Jackson Pollock did what he did, and till date, till date. I mean, yeah, okay, I because I'm having this conversation with you, I can give you examples of where uh, art has gone now to a point where you know an artist even putting a light switch on and off is art. And there is like some amazing ideas. You know, recently somebody put a banana on the wall and that was art. And Banksy is doing some amazing stuff. And we have these Indian artists doing some fantastic stuff in India. And uh, we should firstly stop looking at Indian art as Indian art and American art and Western art. Because now we've, we are all, if you are all staring at this painting, we are all like this. Okay, my, my, my watch came from China, this came from Sweden, the light came from somewhere. We're talking on online space. You know, Shashi Tharoor had said it really well when Princess Diana died, that he was in a British car with an Italian driver, with, you know, where the Chinese had given the bridge or something. So it's like we live in a world which is like this painting and that the faster you start understanding why this is art, the easier it is for you, you'll open a floodgate of pleasure in your life. Firstly, you'll, you'll kind of like this gate is this painting is the barrier. If you cross this barrier and actually open yourself up to understanding what is this work about, what it represents and how uh, this is like a software update. I'm not joking. I'm, I mean it in the most, you know, sometimes you'll go from uh, you bought, when you do a software update on a phone and suddenly all the, your internal clogged ideas wash out. This is like accepting that there is a higher power in life. This, this, this painting gives me also because maybe because I have, I've, I've grown in the field. I'll, I'll give you that. And I feel if any one of you has any questions about this artwork or art in general, please remember, I'll answer them. Mr. Shah, do you think there is, so people are asking questions. So I'm just going to go on the question section now. So just make sure you keep your questions tight. Karan, are you selecting the questions for me or am I going? Sure, I'll, 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 um, I'll ask you, I'll, I'll, because there are a lot of questions. If anyone wants to interact with Weber quickly and ask a question, just use the raise hand button um, and, and we can also interact in that format. Uh, we'll take a few questions and there's, you know, we'll, uh, you know, this time is pressing. Uh, okay, so, uh, Lahari said, is taking inspiration from other artists bad? Lahari and me. Uh, no, taking inspiration is a great thing from, bloody, take it from anybody, man. Okay. I mean, you're lucky if you're getting inspired. You know, half the people, I would say 95% of the people in this world are so uninspired that if you get inspired by even like, I don't know, even by uh, anything, just it's amazing. As long as the outcome is right. As long as you kind of internalize the inspiration and you, you know, create something, I, I stress on originality. That is something that I, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I really crave for originality. Art History Plus, when we started this, we were basically looking at artists who are, who are having original ideas and who are, I mean, will you listen to the same kind of artwork and if everybody does the same kind of painting, it's, it's so sad. It's amazing that you know, let's say Karan thinks in a certain way, Nicole thinks in a certain way, uh, Chiranjeev Barua thinks in a certain way. Everybody has different ideas that, I mean, I, you know, see, we are like in India, we're all different. So we accept it very amazing. The ideas to, you want to, you want to be honest with your expression. Some people, what they do is, uh, you know, under the name of art, they do a very sloppy and a lazy and a very bad attempt at creating something. And the problem is that the education and the reception of understanding art is so low sometimes that if anybody just does something, makes noise, everybody says, okay, this is art now. And so that is, that is why I'm requesting all you three, 400 people to kind of like visit art galleries, go to, you know, watch physical artworks, speak to the, the art. I was telling Karan the other day, the artist, the artist is mostly loitering there, drinking alcohol somewhere in the, in the art gallery. You'll find him or her somewhere over there talking to somebody. They're very sweet people. You can just walk up. I have not met one artist in my life who has any issue in life. You walk straight up to them, ask them what the ideas in their own artworks are. And they, they're dying for someone to understand their artwork. So, I mean, when I have conversations in for the YouTube channel for RTC Plus, we have four, five hour con hours conversation 
and that becomes oh, i'm sure if i made a five hour film you guys are not watching it so there's a reason uh, you know you you bring it down also i don't i don't i don't, I don't i'm not saying that my 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 videos are the uh, they give a major chunk of the ideas of all the art books so i would suggest you go through the playlist go see, see at least 10 15 films what happens with that is you'll understand how i discuss it and i don't discuss it from a point of view where you will get confused quite the opposite you watch all the videos right now i think there are some 35 videos i promise you you will firstly fall in love with the artwork whether you fall in love with the artist is something else but if you'll fall in love with the ideas inside that one artwork and it will open up something in you where next time when you see an artwork you will act, you're not starting from zero you'll start from you know you you're not starting from zero you you you'll understand that there is an idea behind this artwork that there is some meaning to every artwork and there is meaning to everything no matter what you do so in that sense it's a very deep um, uh it's a very deep subject art absolutely. is very complex so, yeah absolutely man web of and uh, i know there's a lot more questions you'll have what we what we can do is we can give you a platform to ask these questions right this one yeah. are like weber was saying is is you know just to open the door uh what you can do is we've we've got a, a group on 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 facebook it's called the art community uh ask your questions there the community will help you answer weber will also be kind enough you know if there's any questions he can definitely jump in and answer also we are of course uh, on instagram uh, you yeah. know you all have come through our instagram page in night and sapien so uh you can ask us questions there or art history yeah. plus and we you know we can you know you can tag us with your questions or just dm us and um that way you know if you tag us we can we can yeah. share it with the world and others can learn through you what we are trying to do today right yeah, yeah. so uh no stay connected i want to say one thing no subscription no questions <laughs> <laughs> so 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 uh, exactly so you know we we can you can of course follow us on instagram uh, and of course on youtube uh, the the channels are written here um you know uh, you, you, if you want to see the you know i've i've kept you know by popular demand i've, I've kept the we've kept the video of this session uh, with webbs explanations for few more hours online and you know you can you can get these snippets uh, of of these discussions and so forth on our youtube channel um you know in in uh, in the coming week as well so like we were saying subscribe uh, the links are in the chat box uh, you know use our instagram to to continue joining in for sessions like these as you all know we've been holding these sessions um week in week out uh and on various topics you know so uh, honestly i wanted to thank you today weber for for a really amazing session uh and and you know we 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 really appreciate you taking the time out and um, please ask we, all your people to please subscribe to art history plus and follow yeah. us on instagram i'm not joking i can't stress upon it it's so sad that we put so much energy on making these amazing people from israel indians from israel are calling me and saying thank you but people in india are sitting and like having chips and not subscribing and not actually asking the right questions i'm getting i'm getting calls from literally indic gujarati patel uncles from uk and from america and from japan and australia people you know indians all over the world are dying to understand their own country's contemporary art practices they know what every foreign artist did they know what picasso did they know what uh, rembrandt did but they have no clue mf hussein ne bhi kya kiya they don't know and they don't know what the contemporary so also just before leaving i want to tell everybody if you guys are there that you know indians are not just the t-shirt makers of the world and you know we do launch satellites to mars and moon and that the contemporary art artists of india my god they're exceptionally intelligent and that you should grow old with them it's like you know there is there comes a time in everybody's life where maybe something was not explained nicely to you or presented to you properly but i'm seriously telling you there are some fantastic ideas hidden and mostly the artist is your neighbor absolutely so so you know uh, yeah. exactly that's what we wanted to do is is try to make people understand art you know i i myself got into art you know i'm a hobbyist artist of course and but you know you you understand your emotions behind it and your your, your what you have inside you can portray it into paper like you said what if you get a 10 foot canvas what can you do with that uh so so i hope you'll pick up the hobby if you're an artist i know the chat box you'll had a lot of people who are artists um create this art you know create deep meaning of it and and uh, share share your art with the world uh so thanks again weber and like we were saying 
Uh, we have a lot of upcoming sessions. The links are in the chat box as well as in the, the email. Go through the email that we send, guys. Uh, there's a lot of information in that. And um, you can register using our upcoming events link uh, on our website. All of these sessions are free. All of them are by experts in their fields. All of them giving out information uh, so that you can find things that make you happy, uh, whether it's art or, uh, or, or you know, wildlife or, or self-care, you know, meditation. So uh, join us for these sessions, register uh, for, for all of these sessions. And uh, like you're saying, we are a community that is growing together. So if you feel that you have a skill, whether it's video editing or whether uh, it is graphics or it, it, anything that you think you can give back with, uh, reach out to us uh, on our Instagram page and we love to uh, collaborate with y'all. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, like we were saying, this, this takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, and we're trying to make sure we reach a lot of people. Uh, yes. uh, for, for us, uh, you know, honestly, we, to provide free education, free knowledge for the entire world is my goal. That is all 7.6 billion people. For that, it takes a few resources. So if you if you if you like you can you know we're going to send a link in the chat box right now you can just view it um, you know you can contribute with any amount uh, or it's also will be there in the email that we send again uh, these sessions are, are free uh, but it will enable us to reach more uh, more people through our content so um, thank you again uh, for for attending all of you all I know you all took time out on your Sunday I uh, hope to see you all very soon um, and uh, thanks Weber. Once again, subscribe, uh, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say subscribe, Matt. Thank you so much for this, right. Karan and uh, and Light Sapiens. All you people who are still here to listen to the end credits, all 167 people, you guys are really interested people. You guys, just the fact that you guys remove time and listen to content like this makes, you know, all of us feel like, uh, you know, we're, we're doing something amazing and we're doing something right. Tomorrow, today I'm doing it. Tomorrow, one of the 60, 166 people, one of you might contribute to this uh, enlightened, enlightened sapiens. And I just feel like if everybody barters their own uh, uh, excellence, it'll be a, it's a damn good idea. So, yeah, it's, thanks, man. That, you know, the idea is that, you know, Karan we, before he gets the Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> soon, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really sweet. Uh, Web of, but, you know, the idea is that we all can do a bit, right? If yeah. our glass is full, and we give a little bit of our glass, you know, into an empty glass, they have a, they, they get a lot more, you know? So the idea is that, you know, today you have so much knowledge on art and you could give your one hour and, and fulfill more than 400, 500 people today. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do is, is get people uh, to, to give back with their time, with their efforts, with yeah. whatever they can, so that we can reach more such people. And uh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Above. And I'm looking forward to more such sessions with you. We of course collaborate on much, much bigger, be yes. better things and it yes. can be so thanks everyone again um and uh, hope to see you all very soon bye bye see you guys bye bye subscribe 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 <laughs> subscribe 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 subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> no, before anyone leaves subscribe 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 artistic plus subscribe, subscribe all right all right all right, all right. See no you cut guys. me i'm till then subscribe 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 <laughs> all right all see right. you guys so, see you see you guys bye 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 bye, bye, bye. bye, bye.